common thing we as embroiders do is to combine designs to create a more complex composition. I'm Linda Goodall and in this video I'll show you how to combine two or more designs to create a new one. Let's recreate this design using some of the letters in the Hatch Library. Start by going to Manage Designs and in the Hatch Embroidery folder we'll scroll down until we find these letters. And here they are. As you hover over the design you can see the path name of where this file is located. We'll need to know that for the next few steps. So rather than just open it, I'm going to click on it to select it and I'm going to choose New from Selected. What this does is it will open this design in a new blank design file so I don't have to worry about accidentally overriding the original. It's a good idea to group the design at this point so I'll do Control A, Control G and that turns it into one grouped object so that when I move things around I won't just be moving a piece of it. From the main toolbar, click on Insert Design. We need to navigate to that folder and I'm already there and it's this path up here and I'm going to find the O. If I select it, I can preview it, make sure it's the one I want and I'll click Open. It opens right on top of the other one because designs come in stacked in the middle. So I'm just going to move it over to the side. Now I'm going to form the word boo and I really don't need to do another insert. I can just hold down the right mouse key and drag. And there's my word. Now let's add that which so I'll do insert design, go back to my list, find the witch, make sure she's the one I want, I'll click on open, she comes in stacked as well, I'll just select her and move her up to where I want her. Now all I need to do is save this as an EMB file and then export it in my machine's preferred format when I'm ready to sew. Now in this lesson I've worked with EMB files included with Hatch. You can do the same exact thing with your own library of machine files. You can even combine EMB objects such as these with maybe a bat or a witch that you already have. Always save first to EMB so that you can modify them later. 